Hello, Bothell. This is uh, Council Member Dewar. I, I wanted to share a few things with you. I, it's been a really tough time. I have a senior in my house and he's missing out on his last season of lacrosse and prom and we still have hope that there'll be graduation, but it's a really tough time and I wanted to share some of the things that I've been doing to try to cope with the cabin fever. So the first thing I've done um, is try to get exercise every day. And because I can't go to the gym, I've found that um, gardening has been really therapeutic for me and um, the weeds aren't standing a chance in my yard and there's something very satisfying with um, hacking at weeds. So that's the first thing I've been doing. And the second, which is counter to the exercise, is baking. I made a really great, um, I tried out a new recipe the other day for molasses cookies. I highly recommend it and I'm happy to share the recipe. They're, they're crunchy on the outside, chewy on the inside, perfect cookies. Um, you can email me at davina.doer at bothawa.gov. I'm happy to share the recipe. Um, and then I wanted to also share, uh, if you have the ability, our food banks are, are really under strain now. North Shore Senior Center has a food bank um, on Fridays. It's open to the greater community, not just seniors. They're accepting non-perishable foods between nine and three every day. Um, things like peanut butter and cereal and rice and beans um, are really helpful to them. And if you want to support Greater Washington, you can give to philanthropynw.org and that's providing food across the state. Um, and the other thing that I would recommend and I've been trying to do is to order takeout from some of our local restaurants. Um, they're really suffering, but if they've got takeout, they at least have some sort of um, revenue stream and I encourage you to tip as as generously as you can. And finally, just remember who we're doing this for. The, the distancing is working and um, washing hands and wearing masks in public, they're all inconvenient, but I try to think of my 80 year old mother when I'm sacrificing that I'm, I'm helping her. So um, with that, I would just leave you with um, blessings to you and hope that you are healthy and happy and continue to um, find the positive in this experience. I've had lots of um, conversations with my kids that I might not have otherwise had because their lives are crazy and, and normally we'd be running around and, and instead with a slower pace, I have found some blessings in, in those conversations and, and kind of reconnecting with them. So hopefully you found some positive things as well in this experience and just remember we're all in it together.